Aquarians, this is your week ahead reading uh, for October 13th to the 20th. Oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle and I welcome you to my channel. If you have not done so, please do subscribe to the channel. That's that red button below. Also, double click that bell so you know when I go live, which is five days a week, Monday through Friday just letting you know um as well as you know when i upload all the content thank you so much for your generosity and always supporting the channel liking and sharing and talking about and interacting with me i love when you leave comments so please continue uh, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks there's going to be one in about five seconds preemptively let me say thank you because whether you know it or not that is a donation to the channel you don't pay it you just have patience and that's and that's what it does. It helps support the channel. So I really appreciate it. I'll see you back here in three, two, one. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, I appreciate you sitting through the awkward pause. Um, yeah, like I said, that's a donation to the channel. And I, I'm, really, I'm really thankful for it. Um, Aquarius, this is your general reading, oracle card reading. Um, the tarot card full spread is over on Vimeo, and that link is below, along with the Whispers of Love uh, romance reading prediction for October 13th through the 19th. We want general energies for the zodiac sign of Aquarius for October 13th through the 20th, 2019. General energies for Aquarius, October 13th through the, the 20th of 2019, October 13th to the 20th of 2019. Here is the energy that's crowning your reading. And this is an ending. This is an ending. This is um, endings and new beginnings, a restart in life, but it, it's, it's in reverse. So this is an ending. An ending is coming and happening soon. Reclaim your power, something that seems to have drained you a great deal. Okay. Let's see what that is. Embrace the in-between. Okay, Aquarius, you guys just lost something or someone that was extremely important to you. This was a death of a loved one. Because um, it could have also been the the death of an opportunity with a loved one, with somebody that you really loved or really wanted to be with. It could have also been the ending of a project that you had been working on for quite some time. Something that, so in other words, this is something that means a lot to you, but it's over it's ending and now now so it's over and now what you're dealing with this week is that in between that in between place where you're in mourning it's a part of your mourning process or where you know that it had to be over you know that it was a natural ending you can accept that but at the same time now you have to learn to live without the joy that it brought to your life, the excitement that it brought to your life, the happiness that it brought to your life. Um, now you have to figure out this week, especially the direction for your life, because in some ways this made you so happy. This was what you kind of accepted as your reality. So this could also be for some of you, a career change, a career shift, a shift in what you're doing for a living. And this week is all about Finding your balance, finding that balance on one leg. You know, uh, this is what Flamingo does. Flamingo finds balance. And what a perfect theme for Libra season is that search for balance. We're rebalancing, recalibration is what I would call this. Recalibrating your life after a major change has ended. A cycle has come to a close. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual death. It could be just the finish of something that was particularly important to you. And then, hey, on to the next project. But, and this is what I will say, it's not going to be as easy because it meant so much to you. It's not going to be as easy as just, oh, on to the next. It's not going to be as easy as all that. It's it's going to be actually um, something that you'll miss a great deal. Um, yeah, let's pull more cards and see. 
I love you. I just got a new puppy. And toward the end of the video, I will introduce her to you guys. Take a leap of faith. So this is you springboarding from one stage of your life to another. So this is telling me that not only, not only are, is it a major life change? Is it a major life cycle change? Maybe it's a Saturnian cycle and Saturn just went direct. So it's emphasizing it. Uh, maybe it's a life cycle, a seven year, um, uh, every seven years, all the cells in our body regenerate right, and replace themselves. Right? I'm sure you guys have heard this, but um, so maybe it's something as sort of overarching as that, but I kind of feel like it's a little closer to home. This is the week where you make the decision to leave the past behind and move into the future. And this will be something that you will feel a hurt, a pang, a oh, it'll kind of wrench your heart a little bit because there will be a recognition of, I would never have done this had this other thing still been happening or still been around or this had still been an option. Um, so there's a bittersweet, there's a bittersweet type of success that's happening here, um, in that it marks a closure and a new beginning, but a closure on something that gave you such a great joy, a great amount of joy. This could be a relationship or the thing that you're leaping into could be a relationship. So uh, Aquarius, you let me know in the comments below what's going on in your life. But this could very well be you springboarding from one phase of your life where there was a sort of stagnation. There was not anything there, not stagnation in terms of collaboration or could once again, this could be work, right? People that you're working with, this is, could be you springboarding from one project to another and being so extremely busy. You almost feel sort of like you're in a daze, uh, a haze yourself, but this is people want to work with you. People want to be around you. It's not like you'll be stuck in the in between for long. This is an emotional in between. This is that feeling of hurting. And I know, I know, I know you guys, you know, don't necessarily like to be emotional or aren't the most emotional, but I also know everybody's emotional when they really care about something. And that's, that's the in between. That's that pang. That's that, I can't believe this is over, you know, um, but you have other options and this week your other options come in and that's where your excitement and enthusiasm and happiness can be restored for all the darkness that maybe this loss has bought you. Um, there's now all this new light and all these new opportunities coming in and it's kind of um, overwhelming, but at the same time, extremely inspiring and exciting. Uh, you could be dealing with a Piscean. Um, yeah, I see a Piscean looking at you, a Piscean looking at you uh, because they want to be around you. They want to collaborate with you. Um, they are looking at you in interest, almost in admiration, a Piscean energy. So it could be another water sign as well. Somebody that really admires the work that you do. And this will help you a great deal because your work in particular is quite unique. Like I'm seeing that right here. It is not work that everybody does. Um... And, and therefore, it's not necessarily work that everybody would be able to understand. You are meeting somebody, somebody in particular, and they could be somebody who's offering you the next phase, the next job. Um, or they could be somebody who wants to collaborate doing work with you. They're admiring your work. So I have this feeling that they're a very, especially, this is why I'm saying Piscean energy, because Pisces are artists. They're always creators, poets. Uh, painters, um, performing artists, dancers. These are Pisces. This is, there's the Pisces mindset is geared toward just being in a perpetual state of imagination and knowing how to communicate emotions through art, expressing emotions through art. And I, I have this feeling that, um, that this is why this is why you caught their eye and they want to work with you. Now, if this could become something more, well that's, you know, that's all up to you. <laughs> I don't know. But I have to say this. 
they're going to have a hard time breaking through to you. This is you and this is them. It's almost like they really do admire you and, and want to offer you maybe something more than business, but they're going to have a very hard time. They're intimidated by you. See, a big old rhino would be intimidated by a porcupine. You want to know why? Because a porcupine is so unique and so distinctive. And everybody knows what porcupines are capable of and how much their spikes hurt if you rub them the wrong way. And so I think, and maybe that you should know this, and that's a good thing for you, is that this is kind of how they see you. They see you as somebody who will snap, who will do them harm if they approach you the wrong way. And I, I kind of have a feeling like they may be approaching you the wrong way because it seems like they're coming at you from behind. As in, especially if they're a water sign, they're not going to be as direct they're going to be a little bit more emotionally subverted like what's going what's going on within within them is going to be beneath the surface and hidden and so it feels like to you they're coming at you from behind for them they're just trying to understand you this is just how they move and unfortunately it might get you on your wrong side and put you on your defensiveness. And I hope that you're watching this video before you meet this person or before your first interactions with them, because I don't want you to be defensive with them because they are a pure tender heart that actually wants to, that actually admires you and wants to get close to you. And they are somebody that you can trust. In fact, Rhino is one of the most, this is a Taurus, so you could be dealing with a Taurus too, but this is Taurus energy. It's reliable, it's straightforward, and it's honest, and it's extremely loving. Taurus is ruled by Venus. So this is a very reliable person. This is somebody you absolutely could trust. You know, rhinos look big and bad. They look like they're something that really wants to hurt you. When they're really gentle giants, and those horns on their head are even like, they're hollow. They're, they're not thick. You know, they're really not meant to... You know, I guess rhinos could be defensive if they want to be. Of course, they could stampede you. But generally speaking, they don't eat meat. They're gentle giants. That's what they are. And, you know, it's only this person's awkwardness that is making them approach you in the wrong way. And I wanted you to know this ahead of time, Aquarius, so that you actually take this opportunity with this person because this is a whole new life that they're going to be offering you. Like I said, it could be a new job. It could be a new position, but it's definitely something that's almost resurrecting. Now there has been a death of a cycle and here is your resurrection. Here is your coming out of the dark, coming into the light. Um, that's what bat spirit is. It's bringing you, I love you. I love you. This is my puppy and I can't wait to introduce you to her. Um, it's bringing you into the light. So where there was darkness and everything was hidden and everything seemed backwards and dark, now you're coming out of the dark. And it has to do with this particular energy, this Taurian energy that you may be defensive against at first and really cut them off or use your swords, which is like the porcupine spirit. is like they have a bunch of little swords, which are it's, um, it's uh, needles. Right, that they shoot at people when they feel like they're going to be attacked, right? And you see, it's just this, oh my God. Oh my God. It's just, it's just the way that this person is approaching you is making you feel insecure and it's not right to you. Had they approached you here, what? Through your brain, this is your secure part. This You like intelligent conversations, um, eye-to-eye -eye conversations, debates, um, uh, philosophical conversations. This is something that you really like. This is something that you admire. You would trust them if they approached you this way, but no, they're very emotional. They're a very emotional critter. And that's why you feel like, yeah, you know, you may be too defensive toward them when in fact they're they are, they might not, they might be awkward, but the rest of them is actually exactly what you're looking for, which is a true person, a reliable person, a dependable person. This is a great person to have a partnership with. Uh, and like I said, coming out of the dark and they want to offer you an abundance. Turkey, love them, love them, love them. Think of this, the abundance of spirit, the abundance, hold on. So when you think of Turkey, what do we think of Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh God, you gotta love them. But in other words, this is 
unconditional love and sacrifice and a cornucopia and abundance of resources and um, resources and energy that's that's wanting to be given to you. It's almost like a philanthropic mentality. That's what the spirit is, 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 is helping, is doing things for the better of other people. So you could, this could actually be, I don't know if something tragic had happened to you. This could be the, um, finding somebody who wants to collaborate to start running a, um, um, a charity, uh, somebody who would, would collaborate with a charity events or doing charity work. Um, um, uh, yeah, this could be where you meet this person um, who seems awkward and, like I said, not of interest right now. Somebody that you would have to defend. But maybe you need to defend yourself because you do know how special they are. And you're a little bit too hurt right now or harmed right now or not um, wanting to be emotional right now. Um, and that's why you're being prickly. I'm just going to say it. That's kind of what you're being right now. You're, you're being prickly to this really wonderful person. And listen, maybe no in the kitchen, go to my puppy's being a menace just so that you know, <laughs> um, This is why you, it's almost like you're intentionally being prickly to them. Yeah. Intentionally. Because I think you know how beautiful they are. And maybe you believe that they're too good to be true. Or this opportunity is too good to be true. Or this opportunity is actually something that it's got nothing to do with the person. It's got to do with a bam, a breakthrough. It's going to bring you into a lot of people's attention. This is like the big mother load break that you've been looking for. In other words, in terms of resources, this is the cornucopia. This is... The lottery win. Maybe it is literally winning the lottery. Money coming into you. Inheriting money. Or money that you didn't know. Money. Yes. So. Please, 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 please. See this video. Before you meet them. Or have this confrontation with them. Because honestly. Even though they're extremely emotional. They love your uniqueness. And you will love their soul. You will. You will find them very unique and you will find them harmonious to everything that you do or this opportunity is harmonious. It will literally sing your praises and announce you to the world on a higher level. This opportunity, this person, it will emotionally take you to a higher level or it will take you professionally to a higher level, whatever the scenario pertains to you. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on one second. Okay. Hi Aquarius. So before we hop on over to tarot, let's review. This was definitely, so the lack of resurrection, right? This was definitely an ending. Um, ending of something that maybe had been creeping up on you for quite some time. Something that was a little bit insidious in the dark. It may not have been inten intentionally malicious, but it's something, something that you knew was coming that you were not happy about. And this week is all about being in that in-between stage of accepting that old cycle ending and then finding the strength to take a leap of faith into something brand new that really is actually you're excited about it but there's a little bit of almost like a, a survival's guilt survival's guilt if you will um because you know that you wouldn't be here if you had still been there and 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 this new beginning See, number one, it's like you're starting over. It's a fresh start. You see, number one, it's a fresh start. But it's almost like you know that this had to come first. And it makes you sad. There, There is that energy, that very emotional energy of, 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 of a party that's interested in you or something that's artistic. That is, it is, you will be working on something artistic that's very excited to have you 
collaborating with them or very excited to invite you or they're they're showing interest now and they are more of an awkward character that doesn't know how to approach you Aquarius and this is going to make you bristly why because they're approaching you in the wrong direction but before you shoot your needles at them and harm them please understand that they're just awkward they're really good it's a really good or it's a really good opportunity it's just that they're not they don't communicate the way that you're used to communicating or you would feel comfortable communicating but this is definitely like rebirth this is the part of the rebirth coming out of the dark coming out of that place where you feel hurt or you feel lost or you feel um that out of place or out of sorts this is a cornucopia this is like a lottery win a cornucopia of resources coming in for you Love is all around. People singing your praises, um, announcing you to the world. In other words, this is leveling up energy. Um, which is why you don't want to, which is why I hope you're watching this video before this opportunity comes to you because I don't, I don't want you shooting your arrows. I don't. See, if they had come at you face on, you know, in other words, regarding your intellect, they wouldn't have gotten your swords. They're getting your swords because they're coming at you from behind or from a more emotional place. And you don't feel really comfortable with that. But they're not a bad person. They're actually a really good person. And this is sort of a transformative opportunity um, that they're ushering into your life. And I'm telling you, there is a great deal of abundance here. This is a, an abundant new start and a glorious, glorious fanfare um takeoff that's yeah um details let's get into the details uh let's go over to vimeo and pinpoint exactly what this may be even if it is career for you for some of you or love for others we'll pinpoint that over in tarot we're going to do a full tarot spread um over on vimeo the link is below and we're also going to do a whispers of love so i'll see you guys over there <laughs> 